match Britain's in history, me, Ross Broadstock. And on Monday, I had the wonderful pleasure and honour of being part of the first event organised by the Silurian Folk Group. Lots more on the way, live events. And the first event was with the wonderful Druid Lawrence Main. Um, you'll see a playlist pop up on your screens towards the end. You can see more about him. I've talked to him before. Uh, his previous incarnation was Devil. Reincarnation, a big part of Druidism. And he makes a quite startling announcement, really, at the beginning of his presentation about um, a current Tory MP, or a member of the party, anyway. So we can see that in a second. I'll say that the, the event was fantastic. It was a full house. It was brilliant. There's more on the way with bards and other speakers. So look out for those. I'm not going to put the whole presentation up. You have to come to the live events to see that. But there will be a series of excerpts from the evening, which I hope you enjoy and look out for. So let me see what you think about this, uh, the power of dreaming. I'm looking forward to seeing the comments. If I'm a bit fearful, I'm not fearful. I've just been told by all the goddesses around me to be very careful. And I was supposed to tell the organiser, I didn't tell Lucas, but um, you see, I did give a talk on Saturday. Last Saturday, only two days ago. Not an half, it was on um, lays, but I got waylaid at the end of questions. And something happened to me, it hasn't happened before. Um, and it's very real. I went all white, it's a sheet. I ended up fainting. I actually hadn't eaten that day or the day before, but drinking lots of holy water from a well. And something strange, I didn't really get any sleep night before, but something, it was just being prepared for something. But the fact is, this is what um, intrigues me. The last question I had, I extended my talk after now getting these questions, and we got onto the subject of what's happening now in the dreaming we had 30 years ago in Carnegie, and I happened to blurt out something I know, my Druid mentor. You may have read The Glastonbury Zodiac by a certain key to the mistress of Britain by a certain lady called Mary Kane. Mary Kane died in 2008. She was my Druid mentor. I knew her from 1978. And um, wonderful lady. And she told me, Lawrence, Oliver Cromwell is reincarnated now. And she gave me clues as to who he could be. So forget history, this is real life, this is what we've got coming up. And we've got a lot coming up, I can, as you can probably guess. Anyway, I worked out from Mary Kane's clues who Oliver Cromwell is now in this life. And I happened, because of some, a question I didn't expect, really irrelevant to my talk on Saturday on Lays, but I felt obliged to answer it. And I brought it out that this was the case. Oliver Cromwell is being car now, and this is who I reckon he is. Well, that's when something hit me, and I went out like a light. And um, I'm going to say, before I went out, I got the name out. Who he is. Anybody here know who he is, or guess who he is? Tell us at the end. Sorry? Tell us at the end. Do you pass it up now? <laughs> <laughs> Have you a connection of a politician called Rory Stewart? Yeah. Rory Stewart. Remember him. And I just got the words, all the quad is Rory Stewart, when I went out. Now, I feel right now, if I, I reach it afterwards, really. But the goddess did insist on driving me all the way home from Devon. She is, she drove me all the way down home to Grinniv and spent the night with me just to make sure of it's all right. Um, and um, when I was out of it just for a minute or two, it being a, a dowsing group, they're all righty practitioners and so on as well, looked after. And, um, but I, wherever I was, I was in a very deep dream. And I had a message in that dream, and it was to do with Rory Stewart. And when they woke me up and insisted I mm, did all the conventional things and rested and had a biscuit and all this, um, well, I 
I was trying to recollect the message. Well, I've still forgotten it. It hasn't come back to me yet. But I just ponder why this should happen to me after I blurted out that Rory Stewart is the reincarnation of Oliver Cromwell.